Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So I'm greeting you this morning. I'm actually on a shoot right now in London. It doesn't look like I'm on a shoot because the glam has not been done yet. I've just literally arrived. We stayed in London last night and yeah, then today we're gonna to be shooting all day. I just thought in this vlog, I could bring you with me for a couple of days of work. I've definitely got quite a few interesting things happening over the next couple of days, like a couple of random things in regards to work. So I just thought I'd bring you along with me. We can vlog. I've actually only got a half a day shoot today um so we're gonna be done by lunchtime so then we can just chill and go into london and do some shopping and stuff this afternoon the second location for the specific shoot that we're on i actually need to go and buy a coat for because it's in iceland we're going to iceland we're literally leaving to go to iceland tomorrow i'm gonna bring you guys with us i've never been to iceland before i don't think anybody in this group as you know maybe they have i think I think the majority of us have never been to Iceland before and I just had no idea what to pack. I didn't think to look at the weather forecast and remember that Iceland would absolutely be freezing at this time of year. So yeah, feeling really, really fresh this morning. I've washed my hair, ready for Jack to style it. We're doing a super, super glam shoot this morning, which I've not done in so long. I'm really excited to get my glam on. Uh, my skin's been a little bit problematic recently, so... I'm excited to get a bit of makeup on and feel nice. I'm really excited to bring you guys with me over the next couple of days and let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a medium. Might have regretted that, I wish I got a large. So Jack, what are we gonna be doing on the hair today? I just wanted to show you guys before the transformation happens. Um, we are doing blown out by Hollywood Glam deep side part. Hollywood glam today, guys, yeah. you just said. Not too set, though. Yeah, Hollywood glam, but a little bit softer is the plan. We're just ordering a Starbucks. Um, just for some energy. Yeah, you want ice latte? Yeah. Yeah, so grande. Yeah. Oh, oh it didn't come that far. Oh, Do you want blonde? Or, oh. Blonde is good. It's oh, amazing. And stunning. it's filled, so I feel like you need to open it for the first time. Oh, oh my gosh, filled. is this filled how it's going to be filled? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can organize it if you want it to look like Did a different way. Did everything fit in or no? Fits. Really? Oh, everything fits. Oh my gosh. Ah, it looks oh, yeah, so good. Yeah, it's still got the room good. Oh my gosh, yeah. it looks unreal. Glam is now done. Well, my hair's not out of the pink colors yet, but my makeup, I am ah, so happy with it. Holly is literally just like, she has magic hands. Like, I don't know how she does this and whenever, whenever i try to recreate it and use the exact same products that she does i mean i just it, it's literally never looked one percent as good as this currently have a little filter dressing gown on just so that when we take my pink eyes out i don't have to take a t-shirt off and ruin the hair um this location is honestly unbelievable it's basically like a london townhouse i think people may have their weddings here i'm going to show you around in a minute but it's like got so much history this building it's like really really super old but so beautiful i am going to tell you guys what i'm shooting in a bit i'll just find a little space in the day to sit down and show you what we're shooting but yeah, i'm really really excited i look like i don't know who i look like right now but i look like someone with this big booth on hair i smell from not mary berry no what did you use to style my hair today jack um, the Beauty Works Molly Mo Volume, volume two. 1. No, oh, it's 1. 1 works better. It's tighter, you can brush it out. And then I'm going to blow dry a little bit out in a little minute. In a minute, I'm going to need a sentimental woman to fix me up. In a feeling sentimental, in my head of Valencianties, and I'm going to fabulous. I don't know the words, as you can tell. I'm going to need like, I'm need like, t-shirts to make up. What are you doing, Molly? Where are you going Welcome now? This my crib. I think just sticky. We're heading on to set now. Yeah. As a cat. I would try to get an F. Wow, Jack, show that. OTD. OOTD. Okay, so the next outfit, feeling very provocative. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we've got a little lace corset, which. I like it. I really like this lace corset, but I can't breathe in it. Um, little lace gloves. They're cool. They're cool. And then these pants, PLT actually. Just, just give us a twirl. Cargo hair yeah, by Jack Lockhurst nice. and makeup by at Holly Flynn. I mean, where are we going? Another, another day. <laughs> uh, patatas bravas out. <laughs> patatas bravas out. What did you say? Where are we going tomorrow? I told them already we're going to Iceland. Oh, um, yeah, it's going to be cold, but it'd be nice getting in the hot water in a yes, cold place. I'm yes, excited for we're that. going to the Blue Lagoon. Um, I don't know why I said it like that, Blue Lagoon. I think people say it. Most people say it like it. It's <laughs> we're double going o, to the isn't Blue it? Blue Lagoon, and um, it's going to be really fun. So now, just some montage sections of me shooting this piece. My mind, my 
maybe it's a sign Cause it's I got a bang bang chicken salad which sounds healthy but I also got zucchini and arancini and a portion of sweet potato fries. Yeah, it's so beautiful in here. What a long afternoon we have had. Hello guys. So last time I checked in we actually had some food at Selfridges which was so nice. I ate so much food it was literally ridiculous and then we went and got a coat which i'm gonna show you i might show you it tomorrow morning to be fair because it's really late now i just actually ordered a walk to walk it's a really hard thing to say really quick walk to walk walk to walk i ordered a walk to walk for my dinner this evening um i wasn't actually hungry and then everyone else was ordering food and i got food envy so i ordered myself a walk to walk i had the same last night and it was literally unreal you would have thought it would have put me off the fact that when I had walked walk to walk yesterday, um, some of the ingredients of the walk to walk actually left my system um, in the toilet completely whole. Like for example, mushrooms from my walk to walk bowl, they came out of me like completely whole. Like is that normal? Like I'm sure I chewed them up. I don't know if they've like rejoined back together in my stomach. Yeah, I ate the walk to walk and then re-saw the walk to walk about 20 minutes later. But then did I order it again today and enjoyed it? And the same kind of thing will probably happen to me in about 20 minutes time. But I don't know, I'm kind of like, kind of fine with that because it tastes really good. I think I'm going to go into Fran's toiletry bag now and see what I can steal. What's she got here? Zo Skin Health. Little complexion powder, why not? My skin needs it to be honest. Oh my god guys, also before I go and stop annoying you with this random segment of the vlog, which I have no idea what the rele relevance is. I was visiting my mum a couple of days ago, me and her went to TK Maxx to do a bit of shopping. I didn't find anything in there at all apart from this headband. It's a cat headband. Sorry, I need to put it on because I'm actually a little bit obsessed. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh my god, how do I have a boyfriend? How do I actually have a boyfriend, please? Like, but yeah, guys, for now, I'm gonna head to bed and I will see you all in the morning. Bye. Good morning, guys. So, I am greeting you from the airport. I should have picked up my camera a bit sooner than this. We are now at Heathrow. We traveled from central London at about half nine this morning, and we're now waiting to board our flight to head to Iceland. I've already eaten enough food that would last me the whole day and it's only like 11 o'clock right now. Um, I've been so hungry this morning. I've just been eating a Yorkie as part of my breakfast. I've also had a pepperoni, pepperoni, not pepperoni. Um, I've had some stuff from prep. We're just currently sat in prep right now, waiting for our flight. I've also just had to buy a neck pillow. I'm not joking you when I say in my lifetime, I maybe have bought 30 of these. Um, I just always forget to bring them to the airport and then I just really need one for the flight. And these are not cheap, but this was nearly 40 pounds for a neck pillow. But yeah, I hope it's worth it because the flight to Iceland is about three, three hours, which is actually quite long. As well, guys, I was just saying to Ellen that my face looks really, really swollen this morning. It is probably because I'm eating like a horse at the minute, but um, she thinks it's because basically, you know, I had, I said I had walk to walk last night and I had it the night before. It's like got so much soy in it. So, is that, so soy is in like soy sauce. Yeah, it's literally pure salt. I mean, Right. You had that as, your, as the. She thinks that I've got a swollen face because I've had too much soy sauce, basically. Mm. Um, it probably is also the fact that I had a pepperoni exactly. and a yorkie yeah. for my breakfast. <laughs> but my face is so puffy and disgustingly swollen. Oh my god. Um, I've just been downloading some films as well on my iPad. I was also just saying as well that this iPad has been one of the best things I've ever bought. Like, I literally love it so much. I use it every single day. I always reach for my iPad over my MacBook. I just, I love my iPad, but I've just been downloading some films on Netflix. Also, I've not spoken about these headphones on my YouTube yet. I bought the, these are called the AirPod Maxes, I think. Um, I spoke about them on my story. Why are you laughing at me? AirPod Maxes. 
<laughs> they are, the AirPod Maxes. They're not AirPod Pro Max. Maybe, AirPod Pro Max, AirPod Max. Um, I spoke about them on my Instagram story. They are really pricey, these were like 500 pounds, but I have basically worn them every single day and I use them so much. And also these are really, really great for me because whenever I get AirPods, I just always lose them. Whereas obviously these, they're much harder to lose because they're bigger. But yeah, I really, really like them. They don't look the most flattering on because they are really big, but the sound quality is just amazing. So guys, we have touched down in Iceland. We're now in our room. It's really, really nice actually. It's very Icelandic. It's like all stone walls. It's just really, really beautiful here. The, the air feels so fresh. I mean, Ellen keeps saying we want to get a bottle of Icelandic water because the water from here is obviously meant to be so clear and amazing. I'll just show you the views from our bedroom. We have a wraparound balcony, which is really, really beautiful. It goes around literally the whole room. And in the distance there, you can see the mountains. Guys, guess where we are right now? We're in Tommy's Burger Joint. We've come for a little bit of food and the first place we found is a burger joint called Tommy's Burger Joint. I've literally done this hilarious because Tommy's favorite food is burgers and it's just really... Where's the scooby-doo with the burger? Oh yeah! It's really really great in here guys. I'm kind of a little bit obsessed. Um, but we've just ordered three cheeseburgers and some chips for our dinner. Very healthy. <laughs> yeah. like, like you might get very like central America, like, <laughs> like Texas yeah. Yeah. yeah but I feel like when we step out there it's a different world and we come in here I really like Tommy's Burger Joy <laughs> it's really made me feel cosy <laughs> and safe of Iceland for you all. Shipping docks, then we have some little restaurants. That was Tommy's burger joint there. Lovely food by the way, delicious. Definitely would be going back. We've just been to an Icelandic supermarket. And when we get back to- <gasps> Oh, I wouldn't mind a nice latte. Oh yeah, um, when we get back to the room, I'm gonna show you what we picked up from the Icelandic supermarket. It was actually quite a fun experience. A mukbang. What? Do a mukbang. Yeah, a mukbang. But we got the sweets and chocolate because we grew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I just did there. Whacked the bag. Whacked my finger into the bag. Oh, is this, this kind of nice? Oh, this is quite picturesque. I'll show you. Some shots of Iceland, beautiful. Others, unsure. Not so. <laughs> like, for example, look at that guy. Look at that view. But then. Yeah, <laughs> that view there, that's 10 out of 10. That's stunning. Ah, oh, it's actually really, oh, that's actually really beautiful. Stunning. We've come to a different restaurant now. This is actually in the hotel that we're staying in. And Ella's and I have got Dolce de Leche shakes. Cheers. Which is so interesting for me, seeing as I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always do that? You complain about your bowels all the time, but really, you are the problem. Am I the drama? I think it might be. Oh wow. Right, I'm trying it. Nice. Really health and wellness for us to... Oh my god. I can taste like the unhealthiness running through my body, but it's unreal. Good morning guys. So, it's currently about 6am in Iceland. I've just hopped out of the shower. It's bright and early, but to be fair, because we are one hour behind, this early start doesn't feel too bad because it's actually technically like seven o'clock at home. So we're all a bit tired, but we're all doing okay. Um, breakfast has just come. I'm going to show you what we've got. Breakfast came. We've got fruit, meat, waffles. These look unreal. Who's taking a bite out of this one? Me. All right. And you put it back after taking a bite. Yeah, it was like strange flavors. Okay. Bread, there's Oreos. We have one of your Oreos for your breakfast. Yeah. Some juice, and then under here we've got more pastries Ow. and donuts and stuff. Anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
The look today is actually not going to take us that long at all because basically it's all based around skincare. So it's um, only going to take literally like half an hour to do this look and then Jack's going to do like a wet look hair, kind of all pushed back and then we're going to head to the Blue Lagoon to shoot. So guys, I kept saying Blue Lagoon as to where we were shooting this next part of the shoot, which I'm going to tell you about right now, by the way. I've literally not mentioned what I'm shooting the whole time I've been on this shoot. But um, we're actually at this place called the Sky Lagoon. So have I been telling you the wrong information this whole entire vlog? Yes, I have. And also this spa music. So I'm currently in a sauna in the Sky Lagoon and this is the view. I literally just said this looks like something on TikTok where it's like, which bedroom are you picking? One, two, three or four? Or like, which bedroom would you pick for your girlfriend? This literally looks like something you'd see on TikTok. This is un believable and it's actually made me emotional when I walked in I was like oh my god this is like it doesn't look real so that's like a glass screen there and then that's just the sea out there and I keep thinking that I'm seeing whales but I'm not um Iceland is so big for whale watching but the ripples that you see in the water like I don't know if you can see I keep thinking oh my god it's a whale but I think it's just the wind <laughs> I've just found finally a minute in this whole vlog by myself I've actually been in company for like the last well basically this whole week um, but I've just asked the guys to wait outside whilst I, whilst I literally tell you all what I'm shooting because as I said I've been shooting vlogging and I've literally not even meant to like keep it as a cliffhanger as to what I'm shooting. You're gonna think it's filter, it's not filter. I've just got this dressing gown on to keep me warm. I'm actually bringing out my third collab with Cosmetics. A lot of you may already know what Cosmetics is. I've done, as I said, two collabs with them before and you guys have literally gone mad for them both times I've done them. Cosmetics is a brand that allows me to collect together my current favorite beauty products for you all at a ridiculously discounted price and we put them in a beautifully displayed box, usually, but I'm gonna show you what we're displaying them in this time and you can buy them, yeah, for uh, literally, like, it does, I don't even understand how they do it, but, like, the price is literally, like, quartered of what the normal full-size product would usually be. I wasn't even really meant to be showing you this today, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm just so excited. But if you guys remember my Cosmetics collabs before, they were in a box that you could reuse, obviously, but... This travel bag here, Cosmetics have never, ever, ever done anything like this before. And when Jennifer, the owner of Cosmetics, came to me and said that they wanted to do a third collab, obviously I was so happy, but I said I wanted to do something really, really different and special. And they let me just take full run of it. And you guys know I love my vanity bags. I almost like collect them. Um, I just love them so much and I use them so much when I'm traveling. So I really wanted to give you guys an insane vanity bag and like a travel bag that you can reuse time and time again you can take it traveling with you you can put it in your suitcase you can keep it at home for your moisturizers or your beauty products yeah, keep your eyes peeled for october i'm going to leave a link down below so you can sign up to be the first to find out the exact date of when it's going to be released because these sell out so fast my last two clubs i did with cosmetics they literally were sold out literally within a few days and i need to go back outside now because everyone's waiting for me so we're now follow me in the sky lagoon <laughs> so guys jack and i are now we are in the sky lagoon and you won't be able to hear this with all the yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll be able to hear um it's actually so beautiful the thing is i feel like they all feel already sorry for us like us being in here in the cold but actually what they don't realize is that we've pulled the, the good straw and they've pulled the short straw because it's way warmer in here than it is out there if you go like this fr freezing you can't you have to, you have to oh, stay literally just head exposed and also as you guys remember i had a full hair glam full face glam that took us like an hour to do this morning well within one second of being in the water i don't know what we were thinking that it was gonna last it's gone Jack! i don't have a waterproof you've, what? <laughs> you've dirtied my lens oh sorry <laughs> I um but yeah this is not even the most aesthetic part of the lagoon like around there it's unbelievable, like literally unbelievable. But now I'm gonna have to go and clean my lens because somebody is a child. Say hi to the vlog. Hi, oh, I need to clean my lens. Can you just tell us what you're doing here? So right now, guys, I'm just trying to get my Instagram shot. Um, got all the professional shots, but now I need to get my Finsta shot. Thank you. Love Bye. you. What else have you got to add, Jack? I'm cold. <laughs> A load Lizzie? afraid Cold. and scared. Cold. Cold wet. Who's a load afraid and scared? I'm scared. scared. It's me. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> So 
guys, being the incredible vlogger that I am, just 10 out of 10 at the minute, really am my best, it's my best work at the moment. It couldn't be less of my best work, I'm fully aware. But as you can see, we're back from Iceland. We're well and truly back from Iceland. It was such a good shoot. It was so different. I've never done anything like that before. And as I said, the whole way through the vlog, I was saying, we're going to the Blue Lagoon, we're going to the Blue Lagoon. We actually went to this place called the Sky Lagoon. It wasn't the Blue Lagoon at all. I wish we got to see more of Iceland. We literally only went for one day just to shoot what we needed to shoot. We flew home. We were literally let, let there for less than one day. And then I came back and my friends and family were like, what was Iceland like? And I was even getting so many DMs like, what did you think of Iceland? But I really don't feel like I can give a proper judgment because we weren't there long enough to actually experience it. I've actually been in town all day today. As you can see, I always come onto my vlogs with like, a crusty foundation and zero lip products remaining on my lips because my lip product, no matter what I use, just doesn't stay on my lip. I actually have, I know you guys are not gonna believe me, but I have a glow up video. I know it doesn't really seem like I've glowed up because I look a mess right now, but I do have a glow up video coming soon on my channel. I'm not gonna sit here and reel off a massive apology as to why I am being so inconsistent on my YouTube at the minute. Um, I am sorry, that's all I can say. And I feel like, the apologies don't mean much anymore because I am always apologising. But I literally just got a DM from someone saying, you are literally rubbish on your YouTube these days. And do you know what? I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. And I really do let myself down with it. I promise you, and this is a promise from me to you watching this video right now, I have some really, really, really exciting content coming up very soon um, for you all to enjoy. I know you probably won't believe me, but it's the truth. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end of this video, then I love you millions and millions, and hopefully I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.